Holly Boyd here, your Christian organizer. Welcome to today's Holly's Habitude. We are going to talk about the reasons to get organized. We've got 2013 fast approaching, and you know, I believe, Genesis 8.22, it is sowing and reaping. We have got to do today to make a difference for 2013. So let's kind of dig in. Why do we need to get organized? Why is it important? Well, how about diminished competence? Whoa, I don't care if you're the president of a Fortune 500 company or the mother of a toddler, you do not want to come across like you don't know what's going on, right? And you know that feeling, ah, you don't need that, you don't want that. What a stressful situation that creates. How about diminished competence? Mm, I'm suggesting if you can't find something, you can't focus on it, right? Diminished competence, big time. Lack of confidence. There is a huge, huge difference between um, when I know where something is and it isn't, if my husband asks, right? Where is that piece of paper? <gasps> I don't know. I might even have thrown it away. Versus, I know exactly where that paper is. Go ahead, ask me anything. Big difference. Or, stalled productivity and you know exactly what I'm talking about. You just want to uh, make a note, something very important. So I'll get the paper and pencil. Okay, forget the paper. I'll just grab the back of this envelope. There's nothing on it. Now if I could just find a pen, however, I'll settle for a crayon at this point. And you're searching for that phone. The phone's ringing. You're deciding, do I answer that? Do I not? Little Johnny comes from around the corner. I'm hungry. He wants a snack. Is he snack worthy? I don't know. Do you ever get to finish your note? You know what I'm talking about. These are things that are created by disorganization and it usually all starts from here. But the biggest issue with being disorganized is that it takes our focus off our purpose. What our true purpose is, where our value comes from. Wow, and that's the difference between having an organizer or a coach or a mentor versus having a Christian professional organizer or coach or mentor. Because we do things based on the proven methods of the Bible. I'm a little spastic. I don't have time to do things over and over and over again. And why would I reinvent something when it's already been done before? That's what the Bible is. When something is thousands of years old and I can see the sowing and reaping and how it works, I would be silly not to use that blueprint. That is how I organize my life and others based upon the true and proven methods of the Bible. It's awesome. We also have to remember, if you don't believe that you were created by design, then you're an accident. You don't really have a purpose. So why would somebody have an organizer? Why would you even be an organizer? <laughs> if there's no purpose, really, truly, it's to create order and design. That only comes from truly having a purpose, having an end result. That's the Christian organizing. If you need that, that's what I do. You need, we all need the motivation that you get from the Bible and we need to cheer each other on. You need to have for your goals for 2013, write them out on paper because the difference, remember, between a dream and a goal is a piece of paper. You've got to write it down or have it somewhere and somebody to be accountable to. When I do coaching, we speak for an hour a week and find out, was this done? Because last week we focused on setting action steps with deadlines for this and this and this. How are we going? What happened with this? What happened when you tried that? You know, and, and I use my expertise. I've been there. I've been with absolutely nothing to whatever I need. The Lord is awesome that way. I've been a single mom. I have a wonderful husband. I've been married now for over 23 years. I've had it both ways. The young mom, the old mom, the young grandmother. So, you know, I have that experience. Plus, I've got the wisdom and the discernment of the word. You need to get with somebody who does. If you're going to accomplish what you intend to in 2013, then you had better, had better Get with somebody who knows the truth. There's too much out there on television and the media that's feeding you 
bad seeds. And you know what I mean by bad seeds, the sowing and the reaping. And we all have gardens or at least a yard or have seen one. And you know, anything you plant on purpose, you have to care for and you have to nurture. The weeds just come automatically. So you have got to guard and you've got to plant on purpose because the weeds are going to come in. Remember that. That's what a Christian organizer will remind you of and a coach constantly. What you do matters, not just today, although it does today, but tomorrow and next year. We need to be constantly reminded of that. I know because that's how the Bible is laid out. He reminds us of things over and over and over again. <laughs> so that's what I wanted you to know. When you take the time to set your goals, and I do pray that you are taking the time and writing down your goals and set forth some action plans that you find a friend, a coworker, somebody, a church member, a coach or a mentor, whether it be myself, that's what I do, or somebody else to hold each other accountable. Yeah, too many other things get in the way, that clutter of everything else. So you need somebody to say, whoa, 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 we're going to part all that and we're going to focus on right here and right now what's important. So I pray that you find that person. You always know where to reach me at a1organizing.com. Other than that, always remember, because this is so true, less mess here, here, or here. Yeah, less mess equals less stress. God bless. Have a super day.